Hello everybody, we're going to do some more things on mums, either you're the mum or you've got a mum or grandma. Today I want to talk about helping them. Your mum might be one of those mums who's always been very independent and won't ask you for things and tell you it's all fine. If you've got one of those, just do it. Just quietly do it. You don't have to say anything, you just turn up and do the vacuuming. You, the lawnmower man, you book him for six months and just tell her I've got a surprise for you. I think what it is is these people just want to be strong all the time, those kind of mumps, and they don't want to appear as helpless or bother you. But you've got to read past that. When she says she's fine and it's okay, if you're asking her, it's probably not okay, you probably are picking up. I know of some men and women who, you know, give their mothers $400 a month just to help out and some who ring them every morning and every night. If they had asked mum, do you want $400 a month, she would say no. And with the ringing, she would go, no, don't bother, you're busy. You've got to hear the subtext with your mother. She's been the one who looked after you. She always did everything for you. So now she's thinking she needs to do that again and continue to do that even if you're a grown-up. On the flip of that, if you're a mother, you need to tell them sometimes, can you come and help me with this? Can you help me out? I'm a bit short. Can you... Maybe me, you know, $200 for a couple of months. You need to ask for help. Some people are really done with this stuff and they just don't get it. You know, and they'll say things, but they don't really mean it. And the other thing is to differentiate between the family members who say they'll help you and offer to do it, but when it comes to the crunch, they never do it. And with those ones, I just give up, really. Just go to someone else. Get, you know, the law man to come for yourself and... And if you need some more money or more help, ask some other family member. You'll find that they'll just be words. It's all it is. It's just words. Um, can I help you with the plumbing? Do you need any money? Because um, I hear it's expensive. Let me know. And they know that you will never let them know. So they never help you. So you get a you know, $2,000 bill on a pension, for example. This is what I'm trying to say to you. Learn to ask for help if you're a mum, but also learn who to ask for help. Otherwise, it's going to be really frustrating for you and you won't get any help anyhow. There's all sorts of help. There's physical help, emotional, mental support, and there's also that kind of support that you give in a social sense that you spend time with them or plan things or do things together. Mothers need more help than they say, especially as they're getting older. This is kind of a pride thing when you get over maybe 50 or 60 and you want to do everything yourself. But you know that you can't dig that hole and you know that you can't fix that fence anymore and climb on the roof. I mean, you can, but if you fall off, you're going to have to go to hospital because you broke your hip or something dumb. You need to see that in your mother. You need to see that she's not 25 years old anymore. She's an older mum. And you need to make allowances for that. You don't have to say anything. You just do it. And I think it's the quiet support, which is the best support that people like. You just give it as a gift or a present or you turn up and just clean something up or tidy something up. Or while I'm here, I'll you know, just put a thing of washing on for you, hang it out while we're having our coffee. It's, and she'll go, no, 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 no. We go, no, won't do it, sit down. It's your turn, sit down. And she'll love that. Sometimes they will not want to ask you, but they're not coping very well. And as they get older, I don't think it's easy to tell your kids you're not coping because you don't want to bother them. Therefore, with your mum, you've got to start to read the signs. You can see it by the energy of the person normally, whether they've got a lot of energy, whether they're still bouncing around, or whether now they're sitting in the chair a lot more or having trouble with their knees or something, and they say something to you when they're not sleeping properly. Have a look at your mum through realistic eyes and see if she needs help and then get the help for her. I feel that that's what families and friends are here for. They're here to give us help and support, as we will give them help and support. And this is sort of like, a little bit like, she did a lot for you, now it's your turn to maybe do a lot more for her. If you have an older parent, you should be helping them more. You should be taking care of them more. You should be checking up on them more. That's what you're supposed to be doing. But a lot of people think, oh, mum's all right. I asked and she said she was fine. <laughs> And I think sometimes they just don't get it really, do they? If you're a mum, you need to ask as well. As I've just said earlier, ask for help if you need it and be pretty direct exactly what is the help you need. Can you come over on the weekend and just help me move the cupboard? And be that direct 
And with some family members, you need to be very direct. If you've got the ones who don't turn up, don't even bother asking, as I said before, and get someone else to help you. It's important that you see where your deficit that you need help and actually as a mum, ask for that. We could also be mums to other people. We don't have to be their mum. So if you've got a neighbour and she's getting a bit older and you can always mow her front lawn. There's so many things you can do. You can say you call out and say, I'm going to the shop, didn't need anything. And she says, oh, will you get me some milk and I just want some flour? And you just get it for her. It's all those things where you're being like a mother to someone else. And you can also do that at work, go into that mother role with people who need help. Sometimes you'll find, if you're an older mum, you'll find that there'll be people in your office or where you work who are younger than you who might need also some mum support. Maybe their mum's not present, not there. Maybe she's died. Maybe they don't have a good relationship or maybe she's just, like, too selfish to help them. But, you know, if they're having trouble in their relationships, you can sit and nattle with them and give them a bit of old wisdom and you can also do nice things for them to make them feel, cheer them up and make them feel better. The mother role isn't just a biological role. To mother is to nurture and you can nurture other people. Also nurture yourself, mother yourself, support yourself. If you need or want things for yourself, go and get them. I always call it the man in the van. So if something's broken and you can't fix it and you just want to be independent this time and you have enough money to pay for it, just get the man in the van to come fix it for you. And as you get older, the man in the van becomes quite a necessity. Someone to clean your gutters and someone maybe to, to un, like, take down a tree or something like that or tidy up an area and do some physical things that you can't do. You'll find that by giving help to your mum, and seeing what she needs and then just doing it will actually strengthen your relationship with her as well. And it's almost that you're also being really mindful of where she's at. You should know your mum well enough to know whether she means it, that she doesn't want you to help or whether she's just being polite. We know our mums well and start to read her better and re read her what she needs. I just felt that it was really cute. I've got someone I know and he goes... His mum's quite old, she's nearly 90, and he, he goes every weekend or second weekend to visit her and just quietly goes off and does all the bits and pieces and he sees what she needs help with and she doesn't, I don't think she would even have to ask him, he'd just go out and do it, you know, takes the dog for a walk, a longer walk. These are the kind of things that you can do to give support to people, to give help to people. It will make you a better person as well because you will be more mindful and be more clear and be more empathic to other people and, and be more compassionate. And I want you to be more compassionate to your mum as she's getting older. You know, getting older is quite hard because, you know, things that you wanted to do and could do before maybe you can't do now. You start having a lot of losses when you're older. You lose your friends too. They start dying and then you lose your lifestyle perhaps if you get widowed and then you also lose your ability to do certain things that you could do quite easily before. So see if you can support her with that as well and read the what's going on, just read it and then just do it. I think the help one's really important with the mother, what mothers need, and it's a very big area, but it's an area that once you start naturally doing it and quietly doing it, you'll just find that it'll just make things so much better. For example, you go for afternoon tea and, you know, you just say, no, you're sitting there, I'm, I'm doing the dishes and cleaning up the kitchen for you tonight. And, oh, by the way, I brought you over um, a couple of meals for the week. That's all you have to do. Oh, thank you, darling, that's so nice. It's just that um, love. It's to show active love. Love is a doing word, you know, to show love to your mum and giving them help is love. So help your mum, help the mum in you. Ask for help if you're a mum and then help people around you. You can go in mum role and help them to get through certain things or to support them. And I think you'll find your life is better and definitely the life of everyone who's involved with you will be much, much better. So I'm sending you lots of love this week and I hope you have good mum week.